May is National Stroke Awareness Month as part of our Ask the Expert series in partnership with Bon Secours St. Francis Health. 7 News' Jennifer Martin talked to a doctor about ways to combat the disease. When Debbie Johnson suffered a stroke, she didn't think it was an emergency. I thought that I had tripped and fallen, but I didn't realize I didn't have any use in my left arm and leg. By calling 911 immediately, her husband saved her life. And I kept saying, don't call 911. He said, I'm calling. To recognize the symptoms, Dr. Sharon Webb says to use the acronym Be Fast. B, balance. E, abnormal eye movements. F, facial droop. A, arm weakness. S, speech difficulty. And T, for time to call 911. Even if symptoms go away, you still need to see a doctor. Just because you went back to being normal, that doesn't mean that there isn't something wrong. She says every second after a stroke, the brain loses 32,000 cells, usually due to a blood clot. And calling an ambulance is a must, so EMS can diagnose and transport patients to the right hospital. They are going to know which hospitals can do these procedures. The first line of defense is clot-busting drugs. But for larger strokes, as of last year, St. Francis downtown is one of two upstate hospitals that can perform a mechanical thrombectomy. We go into the groin, the large artery in the leg, the femoral artery, and we take catheters all the way up into the brain. When I pull out the stent, the clot comes with it and the vessel is open. According to Dr. Webb, smoking, diabetes, and high blood pressure increase risk. Look, especially in the south where we you know, have all of our uh, southern cooking. Bon Secours St. Francis downtown is applying to become the first official thrombectomy capable facility in South Carolina, although the procedure has been around for about a year in the state. I'm Jennifer Martin, 7 News. You can submit health questions for our Ask the Expert series on our website. You just got to head to WSPA.com, click the News tab, then click Ask the Expert. To hear more from experts at Bon Secours St. Francis on this topic and plenty of others, just listen every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. on 106.3 WORD Radio.